Hey yo, what's good guys? It's your boy Jadonski here and today we're gonna be playing some uh some Darkwood. Uh, I bought this game a while ago and I played it. This game, let me tell you, this game is some fucking spooky shit. Alright, it's top down, but they've done such a good ass job with this. Like this game this like I don't know how they did it, but they found a way to make top down horror scary. Like I saw this game and I was like, oh, it's fucking top down. Like that can't really be scary because it's like the, the immersion's not really like, you know what I'm saying? But no, they did amazing with this. This game is fucking absolutely terrifying, 100%. So yeah, let's uh, start it. Um, no, we won't skip the prologue. I don't want. Immersion breaking content. But I. Okay, yeah, so. Yeah, let's go. You're playing a challenging and unforgiving game. You will not be led by the hand. Respect the woods, be patient and focus. Alright, cool, yeah. Let's see if I get fucking diddly danked on trying to. Play some dank wood. <laughs> no. At some points, though, this game kind of turns into a rage game almost because, like, combat is kind of fucking hard. But, anyways, I'll stop talking so you guys can enjoy the prologue. I see hatred and fear in their eyes. As if I was responsible for the spreading disease. As if I were the source of all the misery plaguing this land. So let me give you a little bit of backstory on this game. So basically, um, this game is actually based off a, uh, oh, no pet, a uh, Polish, was it Polish? I think so. A Polish horror novel, and it's about, um, it's, a, I think, a government experiment where they inject the trees with these stimulants so that they never stop growing. And what's happened is that the trees have gotten so large and so thick that nobody can get out and now everyone's stuck in this like little city with these like huge ass trees going mad and like it's dark all the time because the tree there's so many trees and they're so big and like fucking huge that it blocks out like the sunlight and so there's barely any sunlight and people are going crazy and deformed and shit like that i don't know It's crazy. That's a fucking terrifying thought. Can you imagine that? Being stuck in a city and the trees never stop growing. And you can't get out. Yeah, so like even just that backstory. And that's that's pretty interesting for a fucking novel, honestly, like Apparently, this is the only, like, English translation of the novel, but, um... Oh. Um, oh, so he's a doctor. Um, so... Like, I would honestly like to read that book, but... There's no... Oh, potatoes. Um... Yeah, like, it'd be kind of cool to read it, but... I mean, I don't speak Polish, so, like... I don't know. I have a key, don't I? Fuck. 
Alright, well now time to actually play the fucking game. You can only select the oh. Okay, I don't even want, know why I'm reading this shit like I played this game before. I know what like, I'm doing. I've never actually beaten this game before. I just know. Ugh. The fuck? Grody, dude. What the fuck's going on here? A radio. Yeah, so like, also the cool thing about, um, this is like, people, like, people are fucking crazy. There's like, savages that roam the land too. Like, people that have just gotten fucking, you'll see, like, when we actually play. Also, um, oh. Shit, my dog is like dying. It's gonna be okay, doggy, okay? Don't worry, man. Here's my map. Oh shit, cool. Yeah, this game really doesn't like hold your hand, it's really cool. Oh, my axe. Just fucking put that there. We'll put my pills there. And it's a bear trap. I don't think I want bone. Thanks, though. Oh damn. Yeah, I know where I am. God damn it. Game. Fuck off. Yeah, see the woods have devoured all the roads and no one can pass through the thicket. That is fucking terrifying in my opinion. This whole game, like, just the thought of it is pretty fucking terrifying. And how glim and gloomy and hopelessness this game is, is interesting and kind of scary in my opinion. I don't know. Top-down horror usually isn't that fucking scary, but this one, I don't know, man. They did a good-ass job. I can make a torch. Do I really? Yeah, okay, yeah, let's make a torch, whatever. I guess we really need a bottle. Uh, whatever, okay. Now I can see shit, dude. <coughs> dead. Alright. That kind of looks like a bike. Look like the wheels. And then the, you know. Okay, never mind. Ew, what the fuck? trees like absorb the fucking or is that the ground i think that's a tree dude jeez the trees like absorb people like look at like what the fuck even is that that's like a moose and a fucking deer combined okay this is disturbing shit okay like if you're a little little boy you shouldn't play this game okay it's fucking too scary for you too spooky yeah, there's nothing over here. Like, what the fuck? Why do these animals have legs? Like, human legs. Like, they've been sewn together or something. It's fucking crazy. This one is the one that scares me the most. Like, it's a shrine or some shit. It's a terrible way to die.
Oh shit. What if I just kill him like straight up? Fucking torch this guy. Ooh. Ouch. Show me how and I will let you go. I sometimes hear her voice. She's calling me. Calling me to return home. Where's the exit? Where, man? Show me where. Oh shit, damn! Fuck him up. I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. God damn, bruh. Oh shit, here we go boys. That fucker stole my key. So yeah, so, disclaimer, that, we literally, we we'll play as this guy for the rest of the fucking game. I can craft some rags to heal myself. Okay, let's make a bandage. Let's make a lockpick. So, we should probably fucking use these. And now let's grab our lockpick. Aha! Got a shovel and a flashlight. Okay, let's wait for ourselves to heal up. Scary skeletons. Okay, he's probably gonna want to fight me, so maybe I should grab a different weapon other than this, like shovel, so I don't get like diggedied. Forget how to do this shit, dude. There's a way to turn on the generator. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, what the fuck, dude? Ugh. He's got like. 
It's all bloody and shit, dude. He's been doing some fucked up shit. Oh, God. See, that's the type of shit that makes this game scary. Nothing is really explained. It's all just like... You know? Let's refill this. Yeah, like... It's all for your own interpret... Uh, like, you interpret it yourself, and like... You figure everything out by yourself, you know? That like that's the type of shit that's spooky about this game. You walk in and it's like there's this bloody table and with leather straps. Like you get that that you that it that get fucking hell. I sound like Rick from Rick and Morty. You uh oh ew, what the fuck are you, dude? But it's all left up to your own interpretation. Interp fuck I don't even know. I'm just spouting bullshit right now. But um like. That's it's left up to your imagination. What the game never tells you what he was doing with that, but you get to you get to imagine and assume what happened. You know. Two dials instead of eyes. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. This is the type of shit that spooks me, but Dankwood. Oh shit, he's good. 4892. Apply some force. Can you just fucking work, door? What do you mean apply some force? Like, hit it? Hello? Ah! Holy shit, re! Come get me, bitch. Let's do it. Let's fight it out. What you gonna do? You ain't gonna do shit. So I'll fuck you up. Ugh. God damn. Get a chick on him. Why are you laughing, faggot? And how do you want to get out now? You think you can manage all by yourself? Oh my god. Hear it? What the? Ew, what the fuck is that noise? Jesus Christ. What the fuck, dude? Rolling around at the speed of sound. Oh, fuck. I think I just got fucking diddled. Jeez Louise. Some of the imagery you see in this game is pretty fucking disturbing, too, let me just tell you. Um. Actually, you'll just see. I'm not gonna spoil this shit. Like that, that looks fucking spooky, okay? This shit freaks me out. <sighs> Chapter 1. Here we go, boys. <coughs> oh. Wait, what? It was all a dream. A pleasant warmth is emanating from the oven. I can sense a strange yet familiar scent. It's the smell of the protective substance which gives me relative safety after dark. The vapors rising from the huge cauldron are distributed all over the house via long pipes. So as I remain inside my hideout, I have a chance of surviving the night. Okay, so basically... Um, I don't fucking care, can I?
Oh yes, and then you can cook stuff and uh, like for essence and level up. So basically, what this oven does is it repels all the bad guys from the night that want to come and fuck me. So I just kind of gotta hunker down. The road home. What does that say? Droga do dom v? I don't know. But we got. You get some shit. Okay. So, like, the thing with this is, like, when night comes, you, you literally, you do shit like this. You just push up a fucking dresser against this door. And when you hear some, when you hear that dresser move, you know that someone's entering your house from there. And then you have to go, like, fight them and shit. Oh, right, right, right. I gotta get wood and shit and barricade my windows. Okay, and then yeah, see these are mushrooms here. Ew, the fucking sound they make it make me cringe. It's like those ASMR videos. Ugh. So basically, if I have mushrooms, I can bring them over to here, and I can cook them in the pot, and it'll give me ten essence. Once I get to fifty essence, then I can level myself up, which is cool, yo. See, there's more fucking shrooms over there. Um. So yeah, then I have bear traps and. The use of the mushrooms in the household. Okay. So. Now what we should go and do. Is go find me some fucking wood. So well. So basically I have to find wood and then I can come over to this saw and... Yeah. So basically, with this game, you just kind of have to run around and search for shit. And you'll find stuff. The map changes every every time you play, so, like, there's no way to just know the map. You know? So you just kind of have to run around and, like... There's a crate. See, and then you find locations of Brent House. See, I'm almost going into the old woods now. Let's switch this burned house, though. We got some. And those are poisonous mushrooms, so if you fucking step on those, it'll do damage to you. And in the book, I'm pretty sure they make you trip out, which is fucking terrifying, in my opinion. Like, imagine being in this, like, place like this, and you're tripping out on shrooms, dude. Like... That is fucking absolutely 100%. Oop. Listen here. The truck is here. Okay. The fuck is. Oh, that's. I think that's one of the savages. Oh no, don't fuck me. I don't have a weapon, bro. Um. Trying to find wooden logs. We kind of need to come down more this way, I think. Oh, see right here. Wood. Let's just take all these wood. Yeah, that'll mark down. So yeah, it's just to the left of our little place. Same with wood. Is that it? I think so. Okay, let's go back and uh, chop these up and start barricading our shit for night. Oh shit, I'm retarded. I need uh, planks first. I 
need more fuel. I don't know where to find it though. I always forget where to find fuel, man, and I don't know why. Um, well, I guess we can take those six logs and start barricading shit. Um, yeah, I'll take that. Uh, so then we could come down here, we can barricade that. Something that stops monsters from, like, you know, coming in and fucking me. Okay, then there's mushrooms here. I don't know if my... Has this gotten rotten yet? No, okay. Because, yeah, these mushrooms rot, so you have to kind of get them into your oven, like, sooner than later. Because they rot, and then if they rot, you can't, like, cook them, you know, and get essence. That was my problem, was I was just stocking up mushrooms, and they all rotted on me in my one game. And I was just like, oh, well, fuck. It's a lot of wasted mushrooms and leveling. Oh, I got a torch um should find a f above the underground entrance where's the underground entrance I legit have no fucking clue what he was talking about. Okay, well I guess let's go down this time to search for fuel. Cause we need more barricades. Is that a fucking bunny rabbit? Listen here, bunny. Oh. Oh yeah, this is one of the first characters you meet in the game. His name's Wolf. So basically... Yeah, see, this is one of the characters that... Terrified me a lot. And I think the scariest thing about him is... If you look, he's got a fucking bullet hole in his heart like he's dead or something I don't know I feel like that's symbolic or something anyways yeah so that's wolf and basically you meet these characters and you can trade with them and shit even from afar I can smell your putrid stench be glad I don't have an appetite for carcasses meat the figure hides its face under the hood it smells of wet soil and fur I know what you're after I can help you reclaim what you've lost if you attend me to a certain matter what do you say comrade as he leans towards me, I can hear him giggling under the hood. I knew it would interest you. Before we make a deal, you need to prove that you can do the job. I've got no time for weaklings, meat. You follow? Show me what you're made of. Get through the si get through to the silent forest. You'd think it's so easy if I were you. I've myself well before settling in. When you get there, you will find me in this spot. Remember it. The wolf grabs my map and scribbles something on it. The likes of you will, the likes of you always crawl back to me. Jeez, asshole. I wouldn't recommend wandering around these woods at night. It would mean certain death for you, me. Better hide in that hideout of yours before dark and pray for morning light. I'd avoid getting in trouble if I were you, meet, or at least until you have a decent weapon. Okay. So I can show him some of my shit photo of the root. What's that you got there? The wolf snatches the photograph from my hand and studies it carefully. Finally, he snorts to his thick yellow spit landing on the photo. Ha ha ha. This road doesn't exist anymore. Overgrown with trees like the other ones. 
The wolf throws the photo to the ground. Better forget about the road home meet. Around here, all the roads lead to nowhere. And guys, this is going to be all the time we have left for Dankwood. So if you uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, man. No, I'm just kidding. I don't give a fuck. But, um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. This is Dankwood. And I'll probably do more of this because this is an actual. This is a. This is an interesting ass game. Okay, probably one of my favorite indie horror titles, and definitely one of the scariest I've ever played, especially considering it's top down. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video.